belt conveyors um, don't operate without their problems. And the problems of conveyor belts are quite simple. Remember these three words, and I purposely chose these today, put them in red because this is important. You might want to jot this down. The problems with conveyors is that they can be dusty, they can be dirty, and they can be dangerous. However, most of these problems can be reduced. Most of these, most of the dust, dirt, and danger can be minimized. So it doesn't really matter what industry you're in, the problems with conveyors are caused by what we call fugitive material. Now, the problems with conveyors, they're not industry specific. Now, some particular industries might have a little more uh, highly focused problem, but that doesn't mean that they're not or potentially not experiencing carryback spillage and dust. All right, so uh, fugitive material, spillage, like you see in picture one, dust in picture two, and carryback in picture, picture three. You know, we've talked about how to control this at Martin Engineering uh, for many, many years. So let's talk a little bit about this. Why do facilities tolerate this? Why are we still having to talk about this? If your facility is tolerating dust, dirt, and danger, we just discussed the impacts of fugitive material. If your facility is tolerating dust and dirt and danger around conveyors because they don't have the budget to reduce fugitive material, well, I wanna show you something here real quick. With these 20 belts, I think we said um, 2 million in lost material. Okay, let's say my math was totally incorrect. It wasn't. But let's just say that my example wasn't quite, quite accurate. And let's say it's not $2 million, Jared, you're crazy. It's only a million. You were only half right. Okay, let's just say it's I'm only half right. What did we say? it cost us in that 20 belt plant, what did it cost us in labor cleanup? 800,000, 10. But Jared, you're crazy. I don't agree with you. It's half of that. Um, that brings us to $1.4 million for a 20 belt plant. What's it cost? to clean that plant up? Now that's a, that's a good question. Um, it might be as much as $40,000 to clean up this plant. This plant that we're talking about has got 20 belts. It might cost as little as $40,000. Basically that's applying $2,000 per belt in auxiliary equipment to keep it clean. Um, but we don't have one belt, we've got 20 belts um, and it might not cost, uh, I, I'm being maybe a little conservative when I say it costs $2,000 per belt. Let's say it's a huge investment and it costs a lot more. This number could range to maybe as much as 400,000. That would be if it cost us $20,000 per belt. So let's say we had to invest $20,000 uh, per belt got 20 belts, that's an investment of $400,000. So here's the question, do you have the budget to do that? A lot of you are saying no, we don't have $4,000. Well, yeah, you do. In fact, <laughs> um, $4,000 is probably, 400,000 is probably pretty high. You might be closer to 40,000. So the idea here is, would you spend, let's say 40,000, 50,000, 100,000, would you spend $100,000 to spend $100,000 to save $400,000? Yeah, you do have the budget. 
just spending it differently. All right, guys. So that's kind of the message. Um, now, here's what you got to do with this stuff is you got to use these numbers to help prove your point to get that budget at budget time to reduce that dust, dirt, and danger. I understand you don't have that in your regular operational budget, uh, but when you were talking a big project to reduce these problems, um, the the purse string, the, the purse string holders and the, the folks that handle the money at your facilities, this is what they're doing to justify those projects. They're needing you to show them what it's gonna cost them to fix and what are they gonna save when they do fix it. 